Well, I, I didn't choose it, the engineer chose it. Dinsel, it's been great. When the engineer told me uh, it didn't have to use too much bracing and uh, it held itself mainly, I was very skeptical. The cost savings he, he put forward uh, interests me. I like the cost. It's easy to install. You pay it some respect, the uh, bracing is minimal. You don't have to spend a lot of time with uplift, which uh, conventional stuff you, you do. It takes a lot of worry out of uh, concrete, this stuff. Insult. These walls are, you know, they're very high walls. They're 5.7 metres, and I was really concerned doing it all in one lift. In conventional form work, you'd probably only do half, if that, and then you'd do another, do another lift. But um, uh, the dinsel people come and showed me how to pour it. So we poured the first wall, took 100 cube, and I was eager to have a look down the bottom because usually if you drop it that far, and usually you've got to use a tremmy or something to get it down that far or put the pump down, but we were dropping it right from the top. And me being suspicious, a few days later, I drilled some cores to see how much uh, segregation had happened, and it wasn't, there was no segregation, it was amazing. It, uh, it worked really well. It was surprising how yeah, it holds, holds together. Conventional form work, you, you would need a lot more men, you would need cranes. We'd, we'd build it here on the deck and you'll be lifting it in. You'd have Z bars, you'd have acros, you'd have to fight weight with weight. And this stuff, we, we just brace it. We just use 4B3s. Yeah, it, it holds straight. And the, the uplift, the thing that surprised me, there's a zero uplift. The cost savings are unbelievable and it's a strong product, it's amazing. No, I can't speak highly enough for Dinsel, it's been great. Yeah, just give it a go.